the Taliban on Wednesday warned of consequences if the United States did not stop flying drones over Afghan airspace. The US has violated all international rights and laws as well as its commitments made to the Taliban in Doha, Qatar. With the operation of these drones in Afghanistan, the Taliban said in a statement on Twitter. US officials were not immediately available to comment. North Korea said on Wednesday it successfully tested a new hypersonic missile it implied was being developed as nuclear-capable, as it continues to expand its military capabilities and pressure and sin and sin soul over long-stalled negotiations over its nuclear weapons. China on Wednesday revealed a similar drone concept in mission and appearance to invest in a loyal wingman drone for the US-built Kratos. China Aerospace Technology Technology Corp's Fei Hong product line representative Wu Wei said the long-range FH-97 drone concept unveiled on Wednesday can carry a variety of weapons and has swarm and electronic warfare capabilities. Abuse among children rose last year when companies implemented working from home to protect employees from COVID-19. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics data shows that defilements increased to 6,801 in 2020 from 5,397 in 2019, a 26% increase. Authorities in Spain's Canary Islands told residents on the western coast of La Palma to lock down and seal doors and windows with tape and wet towels to ward off toxic gases spewed by lava from the Cumba via volcano. The Canary Islands Emergency Service surged those outdoors less than 3.5 kilometers from the stricken area to immediately find a safe place to shelter. No injuries have been reported. U.S. generals are claiming that they had warned U.S. President Joe Biden that a rushed withdrawal from Afghanistan could increase risks to Pakistan's nuclear weapons and the country's security. We need to fully examine the role of Pakistan sanctuary, the general said, while emphasizing the need to probe how the Taliban withstood U.S. military pressure for 20 years. Prime Minister Imran Khan on Wednesday said the Federal Investigation Agency had been tasked with investigating which individuals had siphoned funds from road construction projects in the country. Addressing a groundbreaking ceremony in Islamabad for the rehabilitation and upgradation of Balakistan's Jaljabila Road, the Prime Minister said that per kilometre cost for the project was cheaper than the cost in the PMLN's tenure despite inflation since then. The Islamabad High Court on Wednesday dismissed the bail petitions filed by Zakir Jaffa and Azmat Adam G, parents of Zahir Zakir Jaffa, the prime suspect in Naomi Kadam's murder case, and ruled that they would remain in jail until the completion of the trial. Pakistan lost 52 people to the coronavirus and detects 1,560 new coronavirus cases in last 24 hours. COVID-19 positivity rate now stands at 3.19%. Pakistan has been reporting a positivity rate below 3% for last four days. The government has announced a new strategy via which cities with low vaccination rates will have to undergo higher restrictions, said National Command and Operation Center Chief Asat Amar Clarif Clarif clarified that increased vaccination rates will not, however, mean that coronavirus will be totally eliminated across Pakistan. Pakistan's legendary comedian Amr Sharif has been admitted to a German hospital after his health condition deteriorated during his flight to the United States. A day earlier, Amr had left, had left for the US via Germany by air ambulance for medical treatment. His wife, Zareen Garzl, was also accompanying him. Pakistan Cricket Board on Wednesday confirmed that Chief Executive Wasim Khan had handed in his resignation. In a statement, the Cricket Board said, 
Khan's resignation comes as newly appointed PCCB Chairman Ramis Raja has called for a complete overhaul of the system. The US dollar continued its surge against the rupee on Wednesday, rising to a historic high of 170 rupees in the interbank market. The dollar was up 31 peso in the interbank market and trading at around 170 rupees and 27 pesi. In the open market, it was up by 50 pesa and trading at around 172 rupees and 30 pesi. NASA is poised to send its first spacecraft to study Jupiter's Trojan asteroids to glean new insights into the solar system's formation 4.5 billion years ago, the space agency said. After receiving boosts from Earth's gravity, Lucy will embark on a 12-year journey to eight different asteroids – one in the main belt between Mars and Jupiter and then seven Trojans.